A bus remains stuck inside a building after crashing into it over the weekend. Investigators fear the building may collapse once that bus is removed. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in Miami with the latest. Gary. Well, uh, this Metro bus that you see behind me here crashed into this building, this 1926 era building, yesterday morning at 9 o'clock. And there it remains, and it will be tomorrow before it is removed. I am so. <laughs> Arsenice Omega can be forgiven for being emotional. This surreal scene, a county transit bus crashed into his Omega's fashion store, a small business he's owned for four decades. We come in here for 40 years every day. <laughs> Sunday morning, though, this white pickup truck blew a red light, police say, hitting the bus, causing it to ram into the building. It knocked out a major support and severely cracked a second one, leaving it tilted at a severe angle. There were 10 people on the bus. Bystanders ran to help. We tried to open the front door, but it was jammed up. We did another attempt to the back door. After three, four minutes, we finally pried it open. We made sure the passengers got out safe and sound. Then I went to go aid the truck driver. Eight of those on the bus were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. An older man and woman in the pickup were seriously injured, however. Monday afternoon, the bus remained lodged beneath the building. Makeshift braces were installed to try to keep the structure up. There is a concern that as soon as you remove that bus, the building might collapse. Arsenis Omega was left to wonder when or if he'll be able to reopen the business he's built for decades. Since I was eight, I've been taking care of myself, working hard, doing farm work, doing anything. I will scrub the floor for you. I'll do anything just to survive. The business of surviving can take some odd twists and turns. Now, the city says that they just can't pull this bus out yet. I thought, tomorrow, a contractor is going to come in and shore the building up better using some steel supports and whatnot. And only then will they pull that bus out of there and see what happens. And now we're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.